What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and we have a special episode for you today. As I told you guys, I had somebody special going to ask some questions. Today, I got Sir Love from Phase 6. He has an awesome YouTube channel. He's a manager that's been involved in several facets of the music business. I've been around some big people like T-Pain and Usher. I'm going to let him introduce himself because I could do it for days. <laughs> this, this guy's a busy man. For sure, for sure. I appreciate it, Brand Man. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, yeah. As you said, my name is Sir Love. I have a channel called Phase Six. That's P H A S E Space V I on YouTube. You can check me out. Talk about music business. But my history in the game. Um, I started off as a young kid, uh, engineering, and uh, started off as an engineer, interning with Nitty Beats. Moved up to uh, doing some stuff with with Ush Records. Kind of nice. got you know didn't like the part about being an engineer, so I kind of moved into uh, manage uh, marketing. From marketing went to operations. From operations, I uh, started doing television shows like Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Mm. Um, after that, I went into marketing, and now I'm market, uh, not marketing, management, and now I'm managing yeah. different uh, artists and acts, things of that nature. That's what's up. See, as you can hear, he's touched pretty much every facet of the game. So you got a lot of great information coming. We're going to jump right into the questions. So question number one, and this question is coming from Crowned in Beauty. Okay. What are the pros and cons of self-management versus having an artist manager? A great question for you as you are a manager. All right, perfect. Well, crowned beauty. Uh, if you are self-managing, here are some of the cons. Now, at the beginning, the pros are you have the opportunity to get everything set up. A lot of the marketing things that you talk about on this show as far as establishing your brand, finding your own identity, creating value for yourself, you have the opportunity to do that without any outside influence or interference. You know, your manager may not have the same vision as you do initially, and it's, it's hard for a person to come in and know exactly what you want if you don't have what you want pre-established mm. right so once you already have an identity the pro is you develop your identity without anybody trying to push you or sway you into doing something that you don't want to do Great. prior to them coming in now the disadvantages of having a manager I say uh, of not having a manager come in immediately when you start going up the chain and trying to become successful and let me explain why Maybe you're at a show, right? You're trying to run the show. Who's the person making sure that your people get into the venue? Yep. Who's the person calling the booking agent and making sure that they're, they're, they're building the relationship with the booking agent or the promoter? Who's the person that's negotiating your numbers, negotiating your fee? People don't like to tell the artist the truth. They like to tell the manager the truth so the manager can be the bearer of the bad news. So if you don't have a manager, people may not want to do business with you just because they don't feel like you can handle the business or they don't feel like they can be honest with you as an artist because they want to keep a positive relationship with you, but they also want to handle the business. So at some point along the line, you're going to need someone to be your representative and to speak for you so that you can continue on with engagements like shows, uh, endorsements, sponsorships, opportunities. Uh, you can't do everything and everyone doesn't want to talk to you. Mm. All right. So if I phrase it this way, it'll kind of help with both. Right. Okay. So what are the core competencies of a good manager? If that person doesn't they haven't been a manager before, if you say those core competencies, at least, you know, what that person who hasn't been one needs to figure out and be okay. able to do. No, perfect. So when you're trying to choose a manager, there's a couple of things that, you, that you're going to have to have. First off, every body in the music industry, in order to be successful, you need three things. You need knowledge, you need network, and you need money. Okay? You'd like your manager to have one of those three things. Okay? Mm -hmm. If your manager does not have one of those three things, they need to be some type of activator, right? Activator means they're driven, they have passion, you know, they have, they have some type of hunger for it, or they have some other skill set that allows them to, to be ambitious toward this goal. They need to right. be driven toward it, for right? For sure. Um, the drive will allow a person to acquire one of those three things that they're missing, knowledge, network, or money. Another thing that you want to look at when you're trying to get a, a manager is what is their history? And, you know, what have they done prior to? Most people in management have started off in some facet of of the music business. They were working in publicity and publicity. They were working in booking. They were working um, as an A and R or they was working as an intern as a late at a label. They have they come with some type of skill sets that could be useful prior to getting involved. So if you if you're looking for this person, you want to make sure that they have some skill sets already that they come with that they can start you know, managing you with, and you want to make sure that they have one of those three things, knowledge, network, and money. And there's a couple other character things that are probably important, but you, yeah. know, you can drift on that for a while. Yeah, that character thing <laughs> just applies to everybody, anybody. <laughs> um, another thing that I like to note is if this person, especially if they haven't been a manager before, but I would like this to, in any manager um, to have sales skills. 
uh, you, like because they're managing your brain and hopefully creating new situations for you. You have those people who really literally manage, just manage the mm -hmm. situation you already have or whatever you give them. But someone who's going to be exponentially beneficial to you is somebody who has sales skills that can create new situations and develop business opportunities for you as an artist as well. No, that's very important. Um, every single time I get on the phone, I'm selling the artist. I'm presenting this artist in a way that's going to be unique. I have, I'm preparing tools that are going to better allow me to sell the artist to whoever I'm selling it to. I'm coming up with a different pitch for different people in different positions to sell the artist. And when I say sell the artist, I mean trying to establish value with the other person so that they want to pay us for what we're doing mm -hmm. or they want to engage with us and allow us to be a part of what they're doing because obviously what they're doing, if that's the case, is providing some type of exposure for sure. benefit to us. So sales is important. Another question. So... At what stage, this is back to more manager specific, should an artist seek a manager? We kind of touched on this, but I want to get more specific. An artist should seek a manager at the point in which you've established some type of A, following, B, you have some deliverable, you have some type of product, right? So for example, the artists that I manage right now, when I first uh, encountered them, they already had a product that was out, they already had fans that were listening to the project, um, one of them already had their own website. They were already selling it on Bandcamp. They were already they already had a direction. Both of them had uh, some type of art uh, director or creative director that was involved that was helping them with the branding. Um, and so from that standpoint, all the pieces were already put together for me to come in and tweak it and now add all the other components that would be necessary to bring this into you know a commercial space and make it commercially viable and appealing to a label or a tastemaker or a radio person or something of that nature. But you need to have your foundation as a manager. I don't want to come in and create you you need to create yourself and for part of creating yourself is putting yourself out there to decide if that's who you truly want to be when you drop something you're going to tweak it you're going to change it you're going to edit it and at some point it might be your second release or your third release or maybe your first release you may have gone through so much crap just trying to get your first release out there but you've defined who you are essentially the brand a lot of things you talk about on the show right for sure for sure so i just say you are the product you have to create the products so the manager can manage and sell the product. I always kind of think coming from the tech side of me, uh, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak, they started Apple together. Wozniak was building the computers and figuring out the direction, what's cool, what hasn't been done. And Steve Jobs is really just that guy. Hey, y'all buy these computers. Point blank. You want that manager to be the person who understands your vision enough that they can sell it to other people and you are that vision. Another question, manager base, what's better? A booking agent or a manager? And really quickly, my bad, that question was from So When. Not gonna forget about you, So When. <laughs> so When, it depends <clears throat> on what's needed, okay? So you need, a, you need a, a booking agent when you're trying to book shows, okay? That's obviously what they're there for. They wanna put you on a road and they, they get a 10% uh, fee on top of your booking rate, okay? That's how right. booking agents you know, make their money. Um, the time that you need a booking agent is really specific, specifically when you have a record out there, when you have something buzzing, when you have something hot, and you're trying to create an audience already. Right. Okay. If you don't have all those things in place, a booking agent may not be attracted to you. They may not want to work with you in the first place. Right. Some booking agents, you know, have become managers over the years, and sometimes you can find a manager that actually has those skill sets already. Most managers should be able to book. Uh, up to some level. A manager should be able to at least close a show up to $5,000. After that, they kind of get a little more technical, but a manager should be able to at least do that. Um, now, when you need a manager is really throughout the process. The moment that you've created the product, the moment, like you said, Steve Wozniak uh, and, and Steve Jobs, product is created. Now it's time to have somebody to come in and sell that product. That person is also going to be tweaking that product for the long term and duration. There's so many other facets that go into management outside of booking. All right, and so when also kind of delved a little bit deeper and asked um, how to make sure that a manager is actually going to book you. Okay, one of the ways is to make sure that you're getting a manager that has the booking skills. It's booking, if booking is your main thing, if that's what you're really looking for from a manager, make sure you're picking a manager that has a strong uh, background in that particular task, okay? Um, you may, it sounds to me like you're already in the space, you probably already have records out there, you probably already have music, you're sitting here saying, I need people to hear me, I need more awareness, I need to find someone to put me on shows. If that's the case, then you probably want to start booking yourself, just being honest. As an artist, get out there and find shows. The first artist uh, that I took on as a manager when I left Love & Hip Hop Atlanta and decided I wanted to go into this was an artist that I found at a show who had already booked themselves for a show. So if you're out there moving and shaking, you're going to find managers that are going to appeal to what you're currently uh, already doing in the market. But 
and getting kind of granular with the topic. Yeah. You want to know how to force the manager to, to do booking. If the manager doesn't know how to book, then they're not going to be effective at get, getting you shows. Um, it's a skill set. You have to know how to find promoters. You probably have a relationship with promoters or you have a relationship with booking agents. You can call somebody. There's people that I can call and I know I can get $1,500 from them from an unknown act to put them on stage just because I have that relationship with them from previous things that we've done. You know, that's only because I've operated in that space before. A person that used to be a booking agent probably has 20 people they can call like that. I only yep. have a few. So, you know, if you really want to get to get to the money and get on the road, make sure you have a viable product. Make sure it's something that makes sense for a manager to get involved in. And you probably want to pitch that viable product to a booking agent because the booking agent will see more value in participating in that. However, the booking agent will likely want you to have a manager because the booking agent is not going to want to deal with you directly with all of the pressing issues. Right. So. Other than that, uh, you guys definitely ask some questions in the comments. Me, Sir Love, will be looking out, answering those questions and getting it done. Um, you can follow Sir at Phase 6 on um, YouTube. Subscribe. That's Phase VI. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say? Uh, yeah, definitely check out the website, www.phasevi.com. You guys asked some booking questions. I think someone asked about booking. I have a whole ebook that I did about booking that kind of walks artists through what exactly I did to start because I didn't start in this game as a booking agent. I started as a manager right. and I had to learn it. And so I broke it down for people that are getting started. Um, and then there's other things on there like split sheets. You want someone want to know about copyrights and things of that nature. I explain all of that stuff on the website as well as on the show to just help you guys out with the business aspect. So as you begin marketing and taking this man's great advice to win and become successful, you're going to need to make sure your back end is taken care of. And that's the role that I play. Right, right. Uh, definitely this guy is super great for back end. I like to focus on the front end um, because in specialized so I can give you the most value is so heavy on um, my marketing and so many ways to go about it. Go to this guy. I'm definitely, I, I wouldn't have him on here if he wasn't valuable for information and wasn't a great guy. Go to his page, Phase 6, for sure, to get all the information you can on a lot of that stuff. Uh, once again, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.